Hi, this is the Data Explorer's Market Update, and my name is Will Duff Gordon. So today um, I have got the uh, amusing task of mentioning uh, Zimbabwe and securities financing in the same phrase. Uh, why am I doing that? Well, the headline rate of inflation is higher in the UK than it is in Zimbabwe. Quite extraordinary that, um, with the UK's inflation at 3.7 percent, meant to be 2 percent. Uh, this means that the markets are already pricing in um, some inflation uh, and interest rate rises, uh, and this. Inflation, ladies and gentlemen, is why I think that securities finance, securities lending and borrowing can grow and increase uh, its revenues and profitabilities over the next 12 to 18 months. If to borrow a phrase from uh, um, uh, President Barack Obama, yes, you can. Um, so, so how does this inflation help? Well, it hasn't really come yet, but there's going to be, when there are interest rates rises, the repo market is able to basically essentially make more money through um, essentially lending cash. Uh, and raising government bonds and things. So the reverse repo world picks up nicely. Uh, then, of course, we have a trillion dollars of, of cash collateral that's come in against uh, stock on loan, which is sitting idly earning next to nothing in deposit accounts. If US interest rates uh, go up, gradually they can make more money from that activity. Finally, uh, the third thing is the convertible bond issuance. Um, that is a big driver of the stock on loan. Um, and Asia has seen lots of convertible bonds being issued, and we think that there could be many more this year. Apparently last year, towards the end of last year, um, China, Unicom and other big convertible issues were more than five times covered. So the market seems to have a great appetite for these convertible bonds. Hopefully more companies will issue them, which means that there'll be more short selling of the equities on the back of them. I hope you followed that. Um, now, uh, so that's the convertible bonds covered, um, which is looking good. Now, the USITS3 uh, is an initiative essentially for hedge funds and people who short sell to offer their products to retail investors. And according to um, Kepler Partners, uh, there's 180 funds registered in the UK alone with $60 billion under management. And that's a sort of an 85% increase over the year. So that that's, that's bodes well. Um, the final thing I'll say is that with um, the FTSE predicted, predicted to hit um, 7,000 this year, the S&P 400, I'm just so saying 400 to take out the banks, uh, at an, at an all-time high. Suddenly the market is extremely high, so there are basically profits to lock in. There's further to fall for these portfolios. That should lead to more hedging, more short selling as people try and sort of protect their downside. Now, there's one or two other reasons that I think are reasons to be cheerful for the stock lending and borrowing market in my report, uh, but I've run out of breath uh, and time, and so I will leave you to read it at dataexplorers.com forward slash news.